Welcome to the official Windows 8.1 lessons and this is lesson 11 connecting to the internet with Windows 8. So you got that new laptop, tablet or desktop and you're wondering how do we connect to the internet or maybe not. When you actually start Windows uh, 8 for the first time if you've installed your laptop by yourself it actually asked you if you had a wireless connection. Now there are several ways of actually connecting to the web and it depends on your internet service provider and also on your setup. I would say that most people today are actually connected through a router and their home and so they have a Wi-Fi signal so if you have a tablet, ultrabook, or laptop computer, that's probably how you're connecting. What happens is if you started Windows 8 by yourself, it asked you for the connection information. So it asked you for your um, network, wireless network name, and what's the password or the key of your internet connection. If you got your computer pre-installed then you came home and you had that start screen and you just don't know how to connect to your Wi-Fi it's quite easy just go into the upper right or up lower right corner of your screen if you have a regular mouse device if you have a touch device just swipe to get your charms bar actually and go into settings here you should see something that resembles this connection. It will have probably uh, gray bars because it's not connected or gray bars with a little red X or something similar. And you'll click on that to actually have the Wi-Fi signals visible. If you don't see nothing, you have that little on-off switch. Make sure it's at on so that you can see your uh, wireless networks. Now it's normal to see multiple signals. For example here, look at all the signals I have. These are all my neighbors, all with routers. So this is how it works. You click on your own network and then you enter your key. So for example, when you click on a network and you say connect, it will ask you what's the network security key. You'll have to enter your password that you've created or that was created for you if you have a, a router that was set up by someone else. And once it's done, you should be connected. Here I'm connected to Top Secret 2. That's my router and it says connected. So that's probably how the majority of people will connect. If you are um, going to a restaurant or maybe having a coffee, then you might use public Wi-Fi, maybe at the library. If you don't have internet at home, you'll bring your tablet or your laptop. So same thing applies. You just go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen, go into your settings and click the list of Wi-Fi signals and just click and connect to the one that is for the type of connection where you are. Another way you can probably connect to the web and that's probably the, I would say the second most popular way of connecting uh, people that have only their internet service provider modem and your, the modem has this cable that we call an ethernet cable it looks like a phone cable but it's much bigger and this can connect directly to the ethernet jack of your laptop or if you have a desktop then it might actually be connected to the network card, the network jack of your desktop computer. For that type of connection, um, most of the time you have nothing else to do. You just connect and it works. One question that Windows might ask you if you connect to a new network is, do you want to activate sharing of printers and files? If you have more than one Windows computer, uh, actually saying yes is a, not a bad idea because saying yes means that you will be connected with your other Windows machines. If you have only one computer, then say no. It will prevent any possible 
uh, use of that connection also at the same time. So that's pretty much how it connects. Um, a few people out there might actually be using 3G connections, um, usually with little dongles that are um, given to you by the uh, cell phone company. So if you're using a mobile connection with a 3G, uh, check with your cell company and how to install it in Windows 8 actually. And it should actually uh, have its own little uh, feature of um, or little program that actually will connect for you on the web. And uh, one last type of connection I haven't seen in a while. Some DSL connections will sometime require username and passwords. So if that's the case, you can actually go into your charms bar on the right side of the screen. And uh, once you're there, you can actually um, type internet options and click that. Here you'll have that little internet options window from Explorer. You just go into connections and there you can add a connection. It's going to give you broadband PPPoE connection. If that's the type of connection you have. This type of connection typically is a broadband connection but it requires you to actually log in to the network. So you have a username which uh, will the, the internet service provider gave you and a password to enter. Once you've entered this information you can um, actually connect to the web uh, automatically from now on. Don't forget to put a little check mark when you go through that progression. There's a check mark that says do you want to have that uh, connection icon on your desktop. I think it's a good idea to have it because it might be uh, useful if you want to connect manually. And one last bit of information about your internet connections. Don't, don't forget that when you are on Wi-Fi, if you go on your connection, you can actually disconnect also. So you can actually click here and click disconnect. Uh, that might be useful if you are on public Wi-Fi, for example, um, to make sure that nobody can access your computer. Or it can also be useful if you are on an internet connection that has very low uh, bandwidth cap. So if you have only 2 3 gigs allowed per month, for example, then by disconnecting, you know that your computer is not going to get data from the network. Because one of the problems with computers is sometimes they want to update or they want to uh, do uh, some uh, background internet downloading of um, information. So if you want to prevent um, a little surprise on your uh, internet bill, this might be uh, a good idea to disconnect if you have a low bandwidth cap. But or else, if you have a limited internet, if you have a very high bandwidth cap, always stay connected. There's no problem with that. And uh, it's not really a security problem in your own home to actually keep it plugged in, working on the internet all the time. So if you enjoy our lessons, please subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when new lessons are online. We try to put lessons every week, so it's a great way to uh, learn Windows 8.1. Uh, so subscribe to our channel, uh, share Facebook, Twitter, tell everybody that some lessons are available for helping them use the uh, Windows 8.1 computer interface or operating system. If you have any comments, questions, maybe suggestions, let us know. And hopefully you are going to watch our videos and you can watch them over and over again to make sure you understand everything and learn with us how to use Windows 8.1. So Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon on our channel. Bye-bye.